51st Half Moon Bay Art and Pumpkin Festival is happening this weekend. It's a major boost for businesses all month long, especially in that area. And Shot Genesis is live this morning in Half Moon Bay with more on the economic impact it has throughout the community. And you are standing in front of this beautiful and very large pumpkin sculpture. Hey, Gianna, good morning. Yeah, now that the sun is up, I think it looks even better. How impressive is this? We're told it's the world's largest pumpkin sculpture. Uh, it is around 11 feet tall, 12 feet wide, more than 10,000 pounds, and it is a great symbol for art and pumpkins, which will be happening all weekend here. Live music, local vendors, and of course, lots of large pumpkins. Those who have been in town for years tell us that this is exactly what they need just as the seasons are changing. Cameron Palmer is ready for the huge crowds they'll see across Half Moon Bay this weekend, including at his restaurant and hotel. It's a much needed boost for business, not just for him, but many in Half Moon Bay. It's phenomenal. I mean, our place is during the entire month of October, we are packed. Cameron's restaurant and inn has its own charm and appeal with a British theme celebrating the tradition of his family. But mixed in with all those collectibles from across the pond, plenty of decorations to make it clear it's spooky season in Pumpkin Town. Still rebounding. I think a lot of us still have, are a little behind on our bills, but this is going to be a real shot in the arm this October. The festival may be one weekend, but it's part of a pumpkin season on the coast. A great way to transition from the busy summers here, creating a new attraction that keeps the community a destination well into the fall. Some weekends they're at actually is a line out the door and we seat 150 people. It's that combination of a scenic setting and some of the most impressive pumpkins in the world that have made Half Moon Bay a favorite with families year after year. Just the beauty of the area to see all these pumpkins out in the field is pretty incredible. It's photo op city time for the families. But like so many communities, the recovery from the pandemic and a challenging economic climate is still ongoing. We're starting to come back and uh, Hopefully it's all going to be good. So, so many businesses are benefited, especially those that are along Main Street. Then there are, of course, the pumpkin farms. And a lot of nonprofits will get the money they need for the whole year just from this weekend. Now, we've talked about this pumpkin sculpture all morning long. So we want to give you some perspective here. When we say it's about 11 feet tall, we're not kidding. 12 feet when you go around away. So it is huge over 10,000 pounds and they've had it for several years. So a great symbol for this event. But really what I think is most important to emphasize about this is it's so accessible. As much money as you want to spend, as little as you want to spend, there is something for everyone to do. And it starts tomorrow at 9 a.m., goes till 5 p.m. and then again on Sunday from 9 to 5. Gianna, back to you.